Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So, since all the stores already have their Christmas stock out and Christmas decorations are being put up worldwide, I think it's only fitting that Kabam started Autumn of Agony and the first fight is Jabari Panther. So let's break down the fight. I will show you three solos, one for each objective and uh, recommend some of the better options according to my chat and my own thoughts as well. So, let's uh, break down the nodes again. I did post a video about the leak nodes yesterday. They were entirely accurate. The entire point of this fight is uh, finish your fights with light attacks, basically, <laughs> and then you're kind of good. So the nodes look like diversion. So every 15 seconds, the attacker is inflicted with the falter passive causing all their attacks to miss for 8 seconds. If the attacker is out of striking range, then the defender is inflicted with falter passive. What you need to keep in mind is that Jupari Panther ramps up when she misses, and therefore you can use falter to your advantage, but it can complicate fight when she enters the Huntress sense. In general, a good recommendation is also to push her to level 2s and finish combo with light attacks. Vital strikes ensures that you do not want to be blocking too much, especially if you do not have a way to mitigate the healing. Then we have scrubbed down clean light combo in there. So every 16 seconds, defender gains a cleanse passive. If you finish a combo uh, with light ender, this gets reset. This is super important for the damage reflection node that's gonna come out, but basically, yeah. If you do not finish a combo with a light attack every 16 seconds, effectively you will take some damage striking her later on, unless you're gonna be dancing around. Staggering beauty, uh, while close to the defender, the attacker gains a stagger, debuff every three seconds, nullifying the next buff, staying far away, lest these fall off. Now this is actually kind of a helpful note because it gives you willpower healing, and it, yes, disables some of the potential matchups like White Tiger being incredibly hard to use in this fight. It's still possible though, but it's much, much harder because of this node. But in general, it's kind of helpful because it lets you willpower heal. Special Burst Lockdown Attacker. So whenever you use a special attack, you will be inflicting two debuffs, heal block and armor break on Jabari Panther. And if she will have her natural cleanse up or the one from the node before, She's going to trigger the second node, second wind, damage reflection. So when the defender purifies or cleanses a debuff, they gain a damage reflection passive for 8 seconds, dealing back 50% of the damage dealt by the attacker. Super important. So, let's take a look at how it goes in an actual fight. The first fight here is going to be with Kushala. Kushala is, for the Valiant objective, is the smallest and most demanding objective, I'd say, because it has to fit three tags. Saga Champion, Size S, and Mystic. So Mystic, Saga, Size S Champion. Uh, but again, the most important thing is just finish your combos with a lot of light attack, and then you're good. Then you can use your special attacks and everything else is fine. And uh, yeah, you don't really want to play Kushala's minigame in this fight. Um, getting some of the objectives is fine, uh, but other than that, you do not care about which one of your blessings are active because then the fight gets a bit too tricky, too complicated. What you care about is looking at the falter timer and not getting it on yourself, and you care about finishing combos with light attacks, in order to re reset that timer and not allow Jabari Panther get that cleanse. So here we can see I do have one of the blessings active, that's perfectly fine. Still doing okay. And again, she's the one that has cleanse. Now she has entered Hunter Sense. It fails your decks. It also allows Jabari Panther to bypass miss. And it's a fairly nasty thing in general, so you do want to ideally especially during the time her Hunter Sense is active, push her to level twos instead of level ones. Uh, and here we go. Again, finish a combo with a light attack, sweet. I'm not the one that got Falter. And I am just gonna go for a level one here. I do have you know, my Soul Barb active, and this is actually quite a easy, straightforward time, thanks to Willpower Healing and back up to full health as well. And again, finish combo with a light attack, go for level one. 
if you keep on top of your cleanses, there's nothing stopping you from using debuffs and just having a good time. So that was a fairly quick fight that was sub two minutes as well. Now, control denial size M objective. Here I found Baron Zemo to be the best guy because he cannot miss while the opponent is rooted and the staggers actually trigger your root as well outside of a level two. And that means that uh, what you do want is to stack up a ton of bleeds on the body panther, obviously. And, uh, you know, effectively at the end of the fight, you can just hit her block and make sure you do not get cornered. There will be some damage reflection triggered at some point somewhere, which is, you know, okay, fine. Uh, but, you know, you're gonna have your disorients later on as well that will be failing those abilities a bit and helping you out. You do not get too much willpower heal in this fight. Uh, so in the first match, I actually used the uh, rank three seven star Kushala, uh, but obviously you could have used the lower rarity as well. And here it is a six star rank five, not ascended Baron Zemo. And again, just having a good time here. We do not have any damage reflection active here. We are just going to keep smacking that Jabari Panther, get those bleeds on. I do activate a special attack here before my root expires. I do get a new root, so we're getting on more bleeds. We do want to make sure we do not push her to level three here. And uh, she does have the falter on her and she enters the hunter sense, but she is at level two. So that is by far the safest time when allowing her to enter the hunter sense. Unfortunately, this I'll take in a block, but at the very least she can't really heal much because of the spare and all of the uh, bleeds that I do have on her. Now again, just going for level two, uh, get in there. Unfortunately, she blocks, but still we're getting some extra bleeds on. That's fine. We are at 65 now. I do want to bait out this level two. And then as I am going to be striking her, she is going to get rooted again because of the staggered passive getting purified by Zemo cleanse. And now I'm going for level one, inflicting more bleeds. I'm gonna go for another level one, casually inflicting some more of them bleeds. <laughs> and now I'm getting up to 97. Um, I really don't have to do anything in this fight aside from dancing about. Like, you know, I could like not hit her at all, like ever again, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, I will, <laughs> because why not? I think here I triggered the damage reflect, so I'm gonna be taking some damage back. I, didn't need to use that level one. I don't even know why I really did it, but we can see her health being completely drained away here. And yeah, six star rank five Zemo does the job phenomenally well. Two minutes, 51 seconds. And the one solo that I got on the very first try without, you know, thinking or trying too much is the X-Force objective domino. So I do have a rank three domino here. And it's super easy with Domino. <laughs> she will fail her nodes as well at times. Obviously, you still get the willpower heal. Uh, you can go for your level twos or level threes. The same rules still kind of apply. You just want to finish combos with light attack and that's it. Now uh, here, I did get quite lucky because neither champion got, got faltered because Domino does Domino things. And yeah, for the most part, it's just, you know, do the same as we did before. Finish combos with light attacks, make sure I get the falter on Jabari Panther rather than myself, and uh, then just go for it, have fun. Um, unfortunately, no bleeds on the first level two, but uh, slowly but surely, the fight is going our way. Uh, again, the best is when you can push Jabari Panther to level twos, makes life a bit easier. And here we go. She finished the level two animation. I go for a relic extended combo, push her back to level two just before that falter comes back. Then I want to, well, bait out the level two. Could have used that falter to get an opening, but her throwing a level two is, you know, also easy to punish. Then I go for a level two of my own. I will take some hits and block, let her heal a bit. It really doesn't bother me too much given how much damage does Domino have. Here I get a falter on myself which is not end of the world. I just need to be very you know, cautious not to try and attack her during that period because I do not have any miss bypass mechanics. Um, and yeah, just finish combos with lights, carry on. Now make sure I do not get the next falter, which actually turned out to be 
cancelled out by Domino yet again. Uh, activate Relic. I'm going to go for my own level 2 here. Um, yeah. It does decent damage. Only the second hit there crit, unfortunately. Uh, do not have any critical bleeds thus far. So I do not have the best RNG possible. But it's fine. She's at like 30 some percent. I'm at 100%. Not too worried about anything really. Again, I am just going to wait out that falter timer there, let her miss. And I'm gonna let her miss again. <laughs> uh, go for a cheeky sly intercept there. Activate my level 2. She's at 9 charges as well. Finally get a critical bleed. I do believe I have like 4 points in deep wounds if anybody's asking, but you surely can do without that as well. Go for an extended combo with Relic. And just toss my level 1 to finish out the fight. Also, straightforward, nothing too crazy. This fight initially seems fairly chaotic. Uh, but once you actually get going and you get like the first solo in and you start doing better and better, uh, the fight actually gets quite a bit more simple. And the most important thing in this fight is kind of simplify it for yourself. Uh, do not forbid yourself to block entirely. You can, you know, out damage that region eventually. Just the node's there, so uh, you don't exclusively rely on blocking. And yeah, ideally push her at level 2s, finish your combo at level 1s, and voila, jobs are good. In. So, the best options. The best options. Control Denial Size M, the best by far, I would say, is Baron Zemo. Prowler did fine in my first couple of tries. I did like 50, 60%, but I know definitely people know that soloed as well. Professor X does great because both Prowler is actually immune to falter. So you do not need to watch that timer like at all or as much. Professor X obviously can bypass miss uh, as well very reliably and quickly. Then I have heard that Puncher 2099 and Red Skull also did very, very well. As for X-Force, Domino is definitely the best one. Heard a lot of people did it with Danny Moonstar. Not using special attacks, just going for level 3s mainly. And AA is also doable. The start of the fight is not easy. You will need to kind of like, you know, practice it or try it a couple of times. But AA can also do it. I'm sure there are more champions as well. But I do think majority of the people actually clearing this probably does have a domino of some rank, which I still think is going to be pretty much just the best option. And Saga Mystic Size S, Kushala, I think is the best of the best options. Sorcerer Supreme definitely works. I tried with my 7 star rank 1, the no relic on any boost or anything. And she already did like half of her in my first try. I have seen people so post solos already with Enchantress, and if you do have a highly ranked Claire, she should be quite decent, especially if you are running Recall Masteries and, you know, get that region from level 2. So Black Widow Claire Warrior should be quite decent for this too. I also think that uh, Sigil Witch should work relatively well, uh, especially if she's not Awakened, which, if you do have a 7 star from the Sigil, uh, should be quite helpful. Right, um, let me know. How did you guys do? Did you enjoy this fight? And uh, most importantly, hopefully, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. See you very, very soon. Bye bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have more information about.